Hello everyone, my name is Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to set yourself as admin on your 5M server using your Steam account. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is open your file explorer, open your 5M directory on up, go into TX data and then CFX default and then look for your server.cfg and then open up your server.cfg and you should be greeted with one of the first sections just underneath the you can edit the following for set Steam Web API key. Now this is what's gonna actually allow us to use our Steam identifiers to set our key. And to do this, what you guys are gonna do is hit the first link down in the description below. That'll bring you guys right here to obtaining a Steam Web API key. So basically you have to own a game worth, I think $5 on Steam in order for Steam to actually give you access for a Steam Web API key. But all you guys are gonna do is click go to registration page and then it should automatically pop up with your key. If it doesn't, it's probably gonna ask you to register for an application for a key. You don't have to wait, literally just enter information, log in with your Steam account online, and then just copy your Steam key. But once you've got your Steam key, copy it like so, go back to your server.cfg, and we're gonna double click here, and we're gonna paste it on in. Now there's a couple more steps in order to actually set ourselves as admins. We come down here, and look right at the bottom for our system admins. You should be able to see here that I've already got myself set as admin using my 5M identifier. So as long as I'm logged in with my 5M account on 5M, it will allow me to be an admin. But it's sometimes a little bit annoying. So we're going to change that to Steam. So we're going to copy this. You can keep your 5M one as well. It doesn't, it's not going to contradict anything. We're going to paste that in again. But we're going to change 5M to Steam. And we're going to double click here and delete this bit right here. We're going to keep everything else, but right here, instead of having our 5M identifier, we're going to have our Steam identifier. And to find this, open up the second link down in the description below, and that should be you guys right here, which is going to be your Steam community profile. As long as you guys are logged into Steam online, then it should pop up with your profile. And since you guys have already obtained your Steam Web API key online, you should automatically be logged in anyway. Once you guys have got your profile page on up, if you look in the URL, there's going to be a bunch of numbers here after your profile and then slash. And then this is going to be the ID that we are going to need to put into our 5M. If it is slightly different and instead of your ID it is a username, you can hit the third and final link down in the description below, which will bring you to Steam ID lookup. And you just paste in your Steam ID that we copied. It should bring up your account. That's how you know it's the right one. And then you can just copy the Steam ID from here instead if it has, doesn't actually pop up with the same ID as it does for me. Once you guys have grabbed that ID, go back to your server.cfg and where we deleted our 5M identifier instead, we're going to put our uh, Steam identifier. And it's pretty simple. Just like that, you guys now should be set up as a group admin on your guys' 5M server. But instead of using your 5M account, we're going to be using your Steam account, which is kind of just a little bit easier instead of having to log into 5M every single time. And sometimes it logs you out. It's kind of just a nightmare. So this is definitely an easier way. And obviously, you can also set your friends as Steam through as Steam admins through here. Just copy the same line of code, and then you press Enter, and then you would change the hashtag here to their username, which doesn't have to actually be the username. You could set it to just as friend if you guys wanted to. It doesn't have to actually correlate. And then obviously make sure it says group.admin and then change the Steam identifier. It's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. And obviously make sure you guys do have your Steam actually started up in the background before you launch into your 5M server for it to actually load your group admin permissions. But I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe and check out the channel sponsors that posting down in the description below. And use code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces for 20% off your next product with them. That could be a 5M server, a Minecraft server, a Red M server, tons of different servers they have. They also have VPS if you guys just wanted a virtual computer. So be sure to check them out down in the description below. Super reliable and super cheap. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.